Thank you for choosing Cat Secure to keep your treasured cat secure in your garden. You've made the right choice. Now your cats can enjoy the freedom of being outside while you have peace of mind knowing that they are safe. This video will take you through five simple steps on how to install the system in your garden. DIY kits can be ordered directly from Cat Secure or from one of our distributors. Backing boards are required to isolate the Cat Secure system from the fence. It supports the fence and helps ensure a level run. Cat Secure recommends using backing boards that are 150mm by 25mm or 6 inch by 1 inch. First, decide on the line of the backing board and run a builder's line at either the top or the bottom of the run. Attach the backing board directly to the fence post. If a new fence has been installed, then the tops of the posts can be trimmed at this stage. The system can be run along a fence or a brick wall. If you have a brick wall in your garden, you can run the system along the face of the wall, keeping it in line with the rest of the garden. If the system gets close to the top of the wall, we suggest using a wood batten to lower the system fixings down the wall. Should you ever need a new fence panel, the backing board allows you to replace the fence without having to remove the system. To prevent any unwanted problems and ensure sufficient support, the fence post should be 1.8 metres or 6 feet apart. If you're attaching the Cat Secure system to a pre-existing fence that doesn't meet these standards, you should provide additional support between the crossrails and fill the gap between the fence and the backer board. The Cat Secure team use a sturdy batten attached to the rails. This supplies a little extra support and prevents warping. Trellis should then be used to cover any gaps to prevent possible escape routes. We have a simple rule. Make a fist like this, and as long as you can't get it into any hole, it's unlikely that a cat will get through. Start by marking where the system will start, where the corners are, and where the system will finish. Fit the appropriate brackets in these positions. Cat Secure recommends using a dome head screw for this. A 5x25 black jacks cross recess screw works well for securing the brackets to the backing boards. The rest of the brackets can be fitted in three different ways. The first way to fit the brackets is by measuring the distance between the two ends of the run and dividing it into equal sections. Then, mount the brackets and trim the poles to fit. Please note, bays must not exceed 1,800mm. For your reference, a run is the straight distance between two major components, such as an end bracket and a corner, or another end bracket. The second option is to measure 1,800mm from the corner and fix a double-sided bracket. Then continue along the run and cut the last pole to fit. Cat Secure pre-cut poles to 1,650mm and fit the brackets 1,635mm apart but your local woodyard may provide poles at different lengths, so you will have to adjust your measurements accordingly. The third way to install a bracket is to start from a corner, offering up an assembly mark for the bracket. Fix the bracket, cut the pole to fit, and then continue to the next bay. For the Cat Secure system to work effectively, wooden poles should be three inches in diameter. Measure the distance between the inner faces of the round black plastic roller supports. These inserts are already fitted in the brackets and are where the axles run. If the wood is very new and or wet, we recommend a cut of 10 mm shorter than the distance measured. This will allow for any potential shrinkage of the pole. Using the drilling jig, which can be purchased separately, drill a pilot hole to mark the centre of the pole. Next, using a 13 mm auger bit, drill 60 mm deep into the pole. This hole must be straight for the poles to rotate properly and care should be taken whilst drilling through knots. The plastic tube should now be placed into the hole, then the spring and finally the axle. The poles are now ready to be placed into the brackets. Slide the end sleeve onto the pole and drill a grub screw hole at the innermost end. You can now fit the pole in between the brackets. If you have a double pole system, the top row may be fitted with deluxe axles. These have a metal outer, as opposed to the standard axle which has a solid black bearing. The benefit of the deluxe axle is that it lets the pole spin faster. The upper row, 
or in the case of a single pole system, the only row, needs to be fitted with pole end sleeves. This needs to be done before you fit the poles into the brackets. These plastic sleeves protect the running gear from the risk of a pull using the bracket as a lever. The sleeves also help with making the system look as elegant as possible. Slide the end sleeves onto the pole, grub screw holes innermost, and position the pole in the brackets. All wood provided by CatSecure is tantalised, which means it does not need treatment for at least 10 years. The system can thereafter be protected with any brand of fence preservative. You may paint the system any colour you like to blend in with your existing fence. Axles may be lubricated with a light oil such as WD-40. Do not use grease or thick oil. For further tips on maintaining your system, check out our maintenance video. If you have any issues securing your garden, please do not hesitate to contact CatSecure, who would be happy to assist you. We trust that you and your cats will now be able to enjoy your garden together.